Hey folks, I'm Dieter Melhorn. In this video, I'm going to talk about the five fishing reels that I've got on the boat this year that I'm using to catch catfish. Well, folks, if you watch any of my fishing videos, you'll know that I like using a lot of different tackle. And the reason I do that is for you guys. I like showing you guys the different options that are available out there. I know a lot of guys are married to one brand or one style, and that's cool, nothing wrong with that. But there's a lot of stuff out there. There's a lot of questions that you guys have. And I try to put some of this different stuff on the boat so you can see how it performs. What I'm gonna do is go over the five reels that I'm gonna be using for most of my fishing this year. Uh, it will give you some things to keep an eye on and watch and see how they progress. Because I know a lot of these reels are reels that you guys are asking about and may be considering purchasing. Now the first reel that I'm gonna be putting to work this year is gonna surprise you. Not too many people ask about this one. Uh, I got this reel from a guide trip client that was on the boat with me. We got to talking about this style of reel and he said, you know what? I got one sitting at the house. I'm gonna send it to you. And that is a Zebco 888 spin casting reel. Now guys, I know you're asking yourself, Dieter, have you lost your mind? This is a spin casting reel. This is for amateurs. This is, this is not big, bad catfish tackle. Well, listen guys, not everybody is a big, bad cat fisherman with a big boat and fishing jerseys and all that stuff. A lot of you guys are just learning how to catch fish. And I understand that, and that's why I want to use one of these. Uh, one, I want to see how it performs. The other thing is, I want to see if I can catch a monster catfish with it. And I think I can, and I think it'll put it in the boat. Uh, it'll be interesting to see how this one works this year. I haven't used one of these since I was a kid. It's honestly what I started out fishing on, just like most of you folks out there. They're very affordable, very easy to use, and I was actually surprised that's just how much drag these reels actually have on them. This reel is reported to have 30 pounds of drag. I was sitting here in the studio with, uh, with it before I started taping this, cranked the drag down, pulled on it, and I broke the line. It came with uh, some 20 pound line on it. So um, I'm gonna upgrade the line, put some new line on it, and I'm gonna be using it this year. So keep an eye on the videos. I'll have you a wrap up video at some point later this year to show you how it performs, but uh, I think it may surprise some of you. Now the next reel, it's not gonna be a surprise to many of you that have been watching the channel. I'm gonna continue to put this reel through the paces this year uh, because I honestly really like it so far and that's the PC Fun Chaos. Uh, you've seen this reel uh, on the channel already. You've seen me catch some fish with it. You've seen me profile it. Uh, honestly, for the money, I think it's one of the best bangs for the buck out there. Um, I'll put you a link down in the description section below where you can check it out and read more on it. They come in a couple of different sizes. Uh, but I think for the money, uh, for what you get, a power handle, a, a reel that will hold plenty of line for freshwater fishing and a lot of saltwater fishing, a good amount of drag, some good features, and a good looking reel, uh, I think it's a very good bang for the buck. Uh, I've been using it on the boat for a while now. I've got two of them on there. Uh, I'm gonna continue to use these. Uh, may go up a size. Originally, PC Fun had sent me a very large reel to try out in the catfish world. It was a Solus X. You may have seen the videos on it. Great reel, works great. Too big for chasing catfish, in my opinion. Uh, the other thing with that reel was it did not, you could cast it, but it was not designed for casting. It was more of a trolling reel. And that's why I reached out to them. I said, hey, give me something that's smaller. They had these, they didn't have any in stock. I said, you need to get those back in stock. I said, folks in the catfish world and the striper world will use that reel. I've enjoyed it. I pointed a lot of people to it. And uh, I think it's one that you may enjoy using too. Now, one of the variation in reel types that I'm gonna continue this year is gonna be the spinning reel. I've got some of these by PC Fun, another reel. I'll put that in the description section below too for you to check out. Uh, I've been trying out some of their spinning reels. I know a lot of people like using spinning reels. Bait casters can be intimidating. I understand that. Uh, I've got two of their reels. I've got a Viper X and I've got a Carnivore. The Carnivore has the bait feeder on it. It's like a clicker, which is very cool for you guys that like that. 
and uh, they're both got very good line capacity. They've got a lot of drag on them. Uh, this one is one of the small ones. This is one uh, that I'll be using for some crappie and perch fishing. But the uh, bigger versions of these reels are, um, they're a good reel for people, like I said, that are intimidated by the bait caster. Uh, bait casters can be somewhat intimidating and uh, with the casting and what it takes to get used to them. So I want to put some of these spinning reels through the paces to show you guys that you can catch fish on them. I paired them up on some ripping lips, spinning rods, medium action. I actually got one right over my shoulder there. That's the dark red one. And uh, I think it's going to be cool for you guys to see that these things work. These things will catch some big fish. I may even drag them down to the coast to do some saltwater fishing and uh, see if I can get a big uh, shark sucking some line off of them. So keep an eye on those spinning reels. You're going to see them a lot this year. All right, guys, the next pair of reels. Well, one of them is almost famous in the catfish world. It's definitely famous on any of my guide trips because everybody wants to either catch a fish with this reel or get their picture taken with it. I'm not kidding. The reel is known as Pinky uh, because it's pink. If you watch my channel, you've seen me talk about Pinky. I talk about it in a live stream. It's made by Ancient Mariner. Uh, it's a 6,000 class reel uh, that I've had since I started this channel. A lot of people laughed and said, oh, you'll tear that reel up in no time. Well, that hasn't happened. Uh, the reel is still working and still catching fish. Uh, again, these are a very, more of the uh, more affordable reels out there. They um, are not like the Abu Garcias and Daiwas. These are some of the lesser known brands. Uh, and somebody had sent me one of these uh, to try out and I've used them and kept using them and I'm gonna keep using them because I almost feel like I'm gonna be cursed if I take Pinky off the boat. And uh, I've got some people that won't go on a guide trip unless I've got it on there because they want to picture and catch fish with it. But no, seriously, the, these reels, uh, they've been interesting to try out and I've been shocked at how well they've worked. I've actually caught uh, King Mackerel on them uh, down at the coast that really had them literally heated up from how much line they were pulling off of them and it never tore anything up in them. So. Those reels, the Ancient Mariner reels, I will continue to use all year long. The last one that I'm going to continue to put through the paces are the reels from Catfish Pro. Uh, I got a rod and reel combo, a pair of uh, rod and reels from them uh, that I did some videos on recently. I'm going to continue to use those this year. This is another affordable bait casting reel. This is something around that $50, $60 price point. And that's my biggest reason for using it. This is uh, in that same class as these other bait casting reels in that five, 6,000 class. Plenty of line capacity, uh, plenty of drag, uh, well built, well put together, and uh, they're affordable. That's the biggest thing. Rod and reel combo is 120 bucks for the rod and the reel, somewhere right around there. You can check out their website. Uh, I'll put some links down below where you can go check out their stuff. But yeah, the Catfish Pro Rod and Reel, I'm going to keep on the boat. Uh, I may swap the reel around on some different stuff depending on what kind of action I'm, I'm needing. Uh, most of the rods that I've told people that I, I would like to demo are in the medium action class simply because most of my fishing is reservoir fishing. I'm not in really heavy current. I'm not chunking big heavy amounts of lead. So most of these rods are medium action. So. I decided to take this to a little swifter current where I need a little more lead and uh, a little heavier action. I may upgrade it there and try it. But uh, again, these are five reels that you're going to see on the boat all year long. And uh, they're all affordable, uh, relatively speaking to the, the class of reels that they are. There's a lot more expensive options out there, uh, a lot more expensive reels out there. But these are ones that you can afford. And uh, hopefully this will give you guys a good look at these different products and give you some op options, some things to think about and maybe answer some of the questions that you have. Well, folks, if you made it this far, thank you for watching. Here are a couple more videos that I think you're gonna like. I'd watch that one and then that one. No, no do, do that one first and then that one. I, I don't know, just watch them both, they're both good.